I want to record this video to help you pronounce the past tense better. No more guessing, no more mispronouncing the, the ED endings and then being embarrassed about it. We're going to settle this today because I'm going to show you how to identify which category the ED falls under so that you can pronounce it the correct way. I say which category it falls under because there are three different categories. There's three. One is the id sound. Two is the t sound. And three is the d sound. So id, t, t, d. And don't worry, I'm going to show you how to understand which category it falls under right now. So for the T sound, you can look at it two different ways. You can identify the voiceless sounds, or you can look at these consonants on the left side and the right side are the digraphs. And I had to make sure I said that right, digraphs and not diagraphs. Okay, there's a difference. The P sound makes And I hope you were able to hear those voiceless sounds because my vocal cords didn't vibrate. So I tried to over exaggerate it so that you would hear it. So that's for the T sound. And I'll give you some T sound words that end in the ET in just a moment. The it sound is simple. We don't have a long list. It's very short. The if it ends with a T or D, then you're going to make the it sound. If you see these consonants or in or this digraph TH, this is the voice sounds because we know the TH is voiceless and voice. So that's why you see both on the T and the D sound. For this category, if you see a B before the ED, then you are going to add the D sound at the end. This category is no different from the T category, except that these consonants are voice. So let's read some words. Let's read some consonants from this category. B, B, G, Z, J, T, H, L, M, N and R. Those are the consonants that you're going to look for and make sure that you turn your voice all the way on. Okay. So now to cover a few words in those categories, let's start with the T sound. If I have the word push, and that's not pretty. So I'll try that again. If I have the word push, when I add the ED to the end, it's going to be past tense, right? And you may want to just say id, pushed id, but it, it doesn't make any sense at all. So pushed. Another word would be with the uh, end, ends with the CH. March. And not the month march, the, the verb march. You're marching in the parade. This becomes marched. Marched. Let's go to the id sound. The word list becomes listed. Because you see here that the T falls under the id category. So you're going to say id, list id. Another one would be paint. It ends with a T 
And when I add the ed, it's going to make what sound? The id sound. So painted. Painted. Okay. Last category. Hang in there. You do. You are doing great. Hey, listen. I'm proud of you. Okay. So the D, the D category, if I have the verb discover, this R falls, falls under the D category. So when I add the ED to it, I'm going to say discovered, discovered. Another one would be feel. The last letter is an L. So when I say field in the past tense, I just said it field. That's how it's pronounced. Now, I want to make sure that I'm clear on this. These are only verbs, of course. Okay. You have to do something. Verbs are when you're doing something. So punch. That end that ends in the C H. How would you pronounce it? Punched. Okay. I punched someone. What about if I say kiss? Yeah, it ends in a double S, but which category would it fall under when I paint when I make it past sense? It would be kissed. I kissed my husband this morning. Okay. So one more. Let's see here. Ba well, I'm going to say this one. Bathe. Be careful. I understand. It ends with the E, right? That's a silent E, so you ignore that. You go to the TH sound because that's the last voice sound or the last sound that's pronounced. So it ends with the TH, and you're going to pronounce the ED as a D sound. That's correct. All right, so great job with your quiz. You didn't know you were going to have a quiz, but you had one. If you need help with your ED endings, go ahead and put the words down and down below in the comments, or you can email me at improvemypro at gmail.com if you need help one-on-one -on -one because I can help you for at least about 15 minutes to help you with your pronunciation. My name is Ladoris. I'm an American pronunciation coach helping you speak English clearly so that you won't be overlooked and you'll gain more respect with your native speaker friends, with your coworkers, with people in public. They won't over, they won't pass you by. Okay. All right, guys, I, with, We'll see you later in the next video. Talk to you later. Bye.